Yeah. How much of a bummer is that? <laughs> <laughs> What's your feeling? We'll wrap it up. Great. <laughs> James, did you ever that you get to play in Miami and what I mean how excited are you for that opportunity to play in your home? Um I mean just like it was one of my like last college football games before we go to the next hit point. God forbid if we win or lose, go to Miami is, is great. I mean just playing in front of my hometown and where I grew up at is very awesome. Did you ever play in that stadium for anything before? Um, no, it's never my first time actually. You ever been at the stadium? Oh yeah, no, it's pretty cool. To see the Dolphins or what? Yeah. Um, to see my brother when they played Michigan. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Did Michigan recruit you at all? Um, yes, like it's not that hard, but it was recruiting me for a little bit. What's uh, uh, what's the feeling of getting ready for this game? Is it, it like you can't wait to play again to get the last taste out of your mouth, or it is focusing on fixing things? What what's your feelings on that? I mean, just a little bit of everything, really. Um, just getting that last taste out of our mouth, and I mean, we got a chip on our shoulder because our last outing was a loss. And I mean, just getting back out there, knowing we got something to prove. And getting that taste out of our mouth is going to be very special. And playing at home, too. So. Thank you. It's energy kind of been like a practice as you guys kind of just go through this prep? I mean, really, we just we just focus on us right now and just getting after it, trying to get the guys back in shape and getting back into it. And, um, I mean, everybody really buying in and just, like like he said, just getting that, that last taste out of our mouth. Everybody locked in right now, so we just taking it one day at a time, and hopefully it's going to be a great outcome. James, have have you had a moment where you've kind of been doing your thing and remembering that you're only two wins away from winning a national title now? Um, I'm not kind of really thinking about that. I'm just taking it one game at a time and trying to stay focused to get there. Really. Today's uh, National Signing Day, uh, but really all that long, probably feels like ancient history. I, yeah. I'll just ask you, what does it feel like when you see these 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 new cats coming in? I mean, just making a dream come true, like just something that they wanted to do all their life and accomplish some of their dreams to get to where we at now. I mean, it's just a special moment for them to just take everything in and don't take things for granted. What do you remember about your signing day? Um, my sign of day, it was like it was kind of like on and off for me because I didn't really know where I was gonna go because um, at the end I took my last official to Florida State, so I didn't really know where I was gonna go at that moment. But then like towards like that night, I had to make a decision and settle down and pick here. You mentioned your brother in Florida State. You asked for the magic shoulder harness, and you, you go for like 200 yards with the shoulder harness or something oh, like yeah. that. Did you talk to him about that? Oh yeah, it just he's special, really. I mean, he just work hard every day, and don't take days off, and don't take things for granted, and, and really put the time in every day, and it pays off for him. Do you feel like uh, we have really com asked you about comparisons with your brothers, really since you got here? It's an early recruit. Do you, do you feel like that you're a lot like him? Are you different in terms of being a um, running back? Yeah, I mean we we both different in our ways. I mean I could catch the ball a little better than him, <laughs> but he he a very special player too. But the things that he do, like I try to critique my game off him and. Um, Try to do some of the things that he do. What part of town are you from in Miami? What, what's your neighborhood? I'm actually, I'm actually right there, like where the stadium at. Like, Miami Gardens. Yeah, Miami Gardens. I'm right in that area. So, I mean, just playing in front of my family and my friends is gonna be special. I know it's early for for game planning type questions, but what do you know about the Michigan defense and, and what jumps out on tape? Seen um, I know they got the two edge rushers. They, they, they're very good. Um, but right now, 
we ain't really been focused on Michigan right now. We just focused on getting better and, and putting sweat in the bucket, really, and trying to get better each and every day. We asked Lewis about the defense, kind of what went wrong. I'm sure you've been asked a few times what went wrong with the offense. What is that? I mean, we just didn't score it when, they, when the defense got us off, when they got um, out of them off the field. I mean, we all play a big role in that as captains. So, I mean, it was on us. Like, we just didn't score when we had the time to score it. And that's plain and simple. James, you guys lost to Alabama. There was, you know, folks on TV talking about, you know, can Georgia win the national title with, with Stetson matching up against Alabama's quarterback in terms of if it goes into a shootout and that kind of thing. I mean, what, what do you say to that? Um, I got all the faith in Stetson. I mean, I'm riding with Stetson to the end. He got us to this point now, so what's the point of getting him out of that situation that he ain't been in for real? And, I mean, he got us to this point, so I'm going to ride with him to, to the end. Okay, we have time for two more questions with James. How would you assess the running game in general heading into this game? Um, I mean, we just kind of really like to – just getting back into it right now. So we ain't really been in like, built like yesterday was our first day of like really practicing in full gear, like like a real Tuesday practice. So, I mean, we ain't really do too much yesterday in the running game or like we just trying to get back in the swing of things, so. James Kirby said after the game that that loss can be kind of a wake up call and that y'all kind of had that attitude in the locker room. Describe what that was like in terms of acknowledging that, hey, you know, we lost, but the season's not over yet. Oh, yeah. I mean, we lost, but we, we still got more games to play. I mean, like right now, like you said, it's like elimination time. Like, you only get one more chance, right? Like, so, I mean, we got that chip on our shoulder that knowing we got one more shot at going to the national championship that we can't lose or we can't have no fall, no setbacks or nothing like that. So, I mean, we're trying to go hard to go to the national championship, and that's preparing and working hard every day. Okay, thanks, y'all. That's all we have.